we are packed. Check the back. Full. What's going on, guys? It's Rob from About EVs. Christine's behind me, my uh, 2020 Model 3. We're going on a road trip. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. It's freezing here in Connecticut. I got my jacket on. I am freezing out in the garage. Uh, Christine is all packed up. She's ready to go. Tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. We are heading out. We're heading down south to southwest Florida. We've got full self-driving. We're going to do superchargers. We're going to take the auto train. I've never done that before, so stick around. We're going to check it all out. We're going to go the full Tesla experience. What's it like to drive a Tesla across country? How is it to supercharge? I'm going to have data on every stop. How was the efficiency? How much did the charging stops cost? What's it like to get on an auto train that takes you from basically DC to Orlando? Everything's included on this road trip. I'm going to get it all, document it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So it's all coming right up. All right, so it's the night before. I'm just checking everything out. I'm going to charge her up to 95% overnight. I got her charging right now, and I think I'm going to take it to the high, uh, the high 80s, maybe around 90, and then I'll let it auto charge and precondition for the 4 a.m. departure, which you can see I've got set. Um, but just in case that doesn't work for some reason, I want to make sure I have a pretty good charge. I don't want to top it off too high to 100%, too close to 100% because it's just generally not good for the battery. So we are going to bring it to 90 before I go to sleep tonight. And then hopefully when I get up tomorrow, we're ready to go. It's at 95. So I wanted to also check to see if the route I have planned is still feasible. So I'm going to check it now. And of course, when it charges up to full charge in the morning, um, we'll, we'll check it again just before we leave. You can see here we have a supercharger stop in Trenton, New Jersey, which shows us at 15%. And we're right that's based on what we are now at 79 so I'm gonna go up another 10% I think the Trenton supercharger in New Jersey is a good stop for us along the route that we're gonna take um, because that gets us um, uh, I wouldn't say it's halfway to Virginia and Lorton Virginia is where we're headed yeah it has me making another stop at Cherry Hill, which is just south of Philadelphia, and then straight to Lorton with almost no charge. So I'm not, I'm probably going to stick another stop in here. I may not do this Cherry Hill. I probably will go from Trenton to a supercharger that's just before Lorton. Um, I can make it there, and then we'll top it off before we get on the train. Anyway, that's the initial plan. I think that looks good for tomorrow. Um, so our first stop from Southern Connecticut is going to be in Trenton, New Jersey, which is like kind of north central New Jersey. Uh, and then we can probably make it the rest of the way there uh, after that, depending on how much we charge. We'll take on enough charge, I think, to make it the rest of the way. Anyway, we'll figure it out when we get there. I will let you guys know exactly what I do but anyway that's the initial plan for tomorrow morning um, the tire trip is going to be about six and a half hours total I don't know if it shows it on here well it shows 237 to the first stop but the entire trip is about six and a half hours with charge stops um, I'm gonna leave at 4 a.m. I need to be I'd like to be at the train by noon they start boarding cars at 11:30 a.m. and they go till about 2:30. Um, but I'd like to be there a little bit early if possible um, just so I don't have to worry about traffic. Now tomorrow morning it's supposed to be uh, kind of drizzly and rainy and I think that's going to be at least two-thirds of our trip 
and the drizzle of rain and there's a, a forecast for like really dense fog in central New Jersey just about daybreak so that's really the reason I'm leaving even earlier uh, I'd originally planned to leave at 5 a.m. Um, but I'm going to leave at 4 a.m. so that I can hopefully get through New Jersey before that dense fog rolls in because that will slow us down to a crawl um, so that's it for now I will see you guys in the morning when we're ready to roll I've got the car all ready to go I've got my uh, radar detector up there it's kind of an old one but I think it still works fine and I actually have my my uh, better route planner map here which is kind of my guideline on, 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 on my route I already did that online and printed it out but um, the Tesla map really shows you everything you need to know anyway to cut it short and not be so long-winded I will cut it here and we'll see you guys in the morning Hey guys, good morning. It's 3 a.m. Uh, well, it's 3.37 a.m. and uh, I couldn't sleep, so we're going to get started a little early. Hopefully I can get on the road by 4 and uh, get moving. Uh, I didn't get much sleep last night and I'm a little tired, so don't look great. Don't judge. All right, guys, we're in the car. We're ready for our big trip to Florida. And right now I'm charged it to 91% and I'm just about ready to go. It's showing that we're going to make it all the way to Cherry Hill for our first stop and have about 15% battery when we get there. Uh, arrival around 6.30. Um, I need a few minutes to get out of here. And uh, that's just a notification that my charge is complete because I just took it off charge. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hit the road and we'll see how it goes if I can make it to uh, Cherry Hill Which is just outside Philly um, That'd be great um, If not, we'll stop and charge somewhere else on the way, but um, That's the plan right now. We're gonna go all the way from Southern Connecticut uh, All the way down to Cherry Hill, New Jersey, which is just outside Philly as you can see there um, so I'm gonna hit the road. I just got to back it out and I'm gonna put my other car in the garage to charge my Chevy Bolt and Then we are gonna hit the road. So I should be on the road in about five minutes All right, this is the start of the trip. I did check the radar and um, it does show some Patches of showers already um, in southern Connecticut, so I know we're going to hit rain for probably the first half of the trip, at least showers they're saying, so um, you know, kind of ready for that. I just hope we get through New Jersey because I saw, as I said last night, um, some forecasts, some dense fog um, during the time we'd be going through New Jersey right around daybreak, so um, the dew point and the temperature are going to be the same from about uh, 6 a.m. to about 8 a.m. And if you don't know what that means, uh, whenever they give you the dew point and the temperature, you're probably always like, well, what do I need to know the dew point for? <laughs> well, when the temperature and the dew point match, that means fog. Um, the separation between the te temperature and the dew point um, the more it's separated, the, the more clear the air would be. Um, but we're looking at, uh, I think it was 48 degrees uh, temperature and 48 degrees dew point at some point through the center of New Jersey, right around daybreak. So I hope we don't hit dense fog because one of the forecasts said dense fog. So dense fog is not good. Uh, just for a safety In standpoint. Feet, turn left onto Acorn Hill Road. Thank you, Christine. 
and um, it just would, I mean, everybody would be crawling, you know, because you can't see anything. So hopefully we get through before turn then. left onto Acorn Hill Road. We uh, are scheduled to be at our first stop at 628. So that first stop is beyond the fog zone, I think. So that's what I'm hoping is that we will be beyond uh, through the dense fog. But anyway, for now, we're just going to hit the road and um, do what a Tesla does and drive long distances without a care. Uh, this is awesome. I mean, the, the, you can do this in an electric car um, in this day and age is just incredible. And uh, really thanks to the Tesla superchargers that really make cross-country travel just um, something that you don't even think about. So, um, gonna hit the road. Supercharger. I had to stop, take a leak first, and grab some coffee. Got my Starbucks, so let's plug in. supercharging uh, cranking up 188 this is a v3 so it can go up to 250 I don't know if it'll take 250 at 18 probably won't go quite that high but uh, we're, we're at 208 I think that's topping out at 208 so how do we do uh, 180.3 miles, uh, 51 kilowatt hours used, uh, 284 watt hours per mile, which is a little bit on the high side for me and my experience with this car. I mean, I'm usually in the low 200s, but I've never done like a three hour trip like this. I've done a two hour trip to Providence. Uh, and I think that was around the 245, 250 mark. 
but we were getting intermittent um, battery conditioning while we were coming down here. So um, it was preparing for the supercharging. So I, that does use more battery than normal and the cool conditions. I mean, I think we started and it was, um, I don't remember, but maybe it was in the mid thirties. And now we're finally up to 55 degrees. It was slowly going up as we went uh, south. Uh, so now we are here in Cherry Hill, south of Philly, and it's 55 degrees and plus it's starting to get daylight now. So um, yeah, we, uh, we did pretty good. It was about a little over three hours of drive time, which is uh, excruciatingly painful on my bladder. It was <laughs> really pushing me my limit of whether to stop earlier, but um, uh, we're making good time and uh, we should uh, be at our destination uh, well within um, the time frame that I wanted to get there, which was by 11.30. We should make that no problem. So looking at our next stop is going to be a continued trip. We are going to, we're going to actually stop and we're not going to go completely to Laurelton Road. We are going to stop just before it. There's a supercharger here. Uh, so that one I want to add to our stop. That would be our next stop in Springfield, Virginia. See if I just remove charging stations. Yeah, no, it has it in there. So that's actually what we'd want to do. So right now it's showing me that I wouldn't make it, but as soon as it charges up, we should be good to go. All right, so we're going to charge up and then we'll hit the road and go on to our next stop. It says we'll be there at 9.37. So I figure about 10 o'clock we're going to be just short of the train. Uh, so I'm going to top off there and um, I don't want to go on put it on the train with like no charge left so um, I'll probably top it up to about 70 70 80 percent and then we'll do the short drive to Laure Laurelton and uh, we'll be ready to board the train all right we are good to go now it shows a 10 a.m. arrival with 20 percent battery left uh, when we arrive in Springfield Virginia so I think we can head out and we are at 82% and we took on, we're taking 51 kilowatts. It's starting to trail off now, um, but we're good to go. I'm going to stop the charging here and we're going to head out and hit the road. All right, we're cruising um, full self-driving now. We got Navigate on autopilot on, so I'm just kind of checking it out to see what it's doing and um, we were just behind that truck and it asked me now it's asking me to confirm the complete the pass it asked me to get around the truck to go into the fast lane and then and now it asked me to get back over once I passed the truck so and pretty cool it's driving itself I got my hand on the wheel over here you know just to make sure um, it knows I'm paying attention I don't know what it's going to do when we get to an interchange or we have to get into a certain lane, uh, but if I am not too busy, I'll try to videotape it. Um, but so far, it's working pretty good. It's very smooth. It seems even smoother with uh, the full self-driving package than it does on basic autopilot. I don't know if I'm just imagining it or not. but. It definitely seems like a, a, a level up just driving on the highway um, with the full self-driving package. But again, maybe I'm just imagining it. I mean, it's really keeping very centered. It's not wavering around. Even when you have an entrance lane and the right line disappears, it does wander a little bit, but when it's in the basic package, it seems to be very confused where it's much more confident driving with the uh, full self-driving package on. So I'm gonna cruise down the road a little bit more and we'll see how this uh, Navigate on Autopilot works. Um, it's got two hours and 15 minutes of driving to do. I don't know if it's gonna make it that far without me disengaging it, but uh, I'm gonna try to just let it cruise and as long as it's doing a good job, I'm gonna keep it going.
All right, we have arrived at the Springfield, Virginia Supercharger, which is actually at a mall, which is nice because I can go in maybe if it's open. It's only 10 a.m. I hope it's open. But there's a few Teslas here, not a lot. Um, we made it down with 162 and a half miles, 44 kilowatts, 273 watt hours per mile. So not too bad. It was pretty good efficiency on this trip. It was a little warmer. Um, it's 60 degrees down here, so it's a little bit milder and the whole trip is a little bit milder. But I'm glad we're here. This is the last stop before um, we go to the train. So the tra and the train is only like, um, I don't know, five miles, seven miles. It's like 10 minutes from here. So I'm gonna top off the charge and then we'll um, head over to the train station. I may go in and um, uh, grab some neat breakfast or something because I've been up since uh, three something this morning. So um, yeah, I might do that. It's no rush. Um, they don't start loading cars till 11.30. So I'm like an hour and a half early, which is good. I'd rather be early than late. Um, gives me time to uh, charge up and uh, grab something neat. Uh, maybe grab another coffee. Why not? And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. And we'll be on our way. Let me go uh, plug in. so I should get a very fast charge. I'm gonna charge up, then I'm gonna go in because it's a walk from here to the mall. Oh, well, we're at the front of the parking lot and the mall's the other side, the entrance. So if I were to walk in and do something, I would complete the charging before I could get back to the car. So I'll charge up and then we'll, uh, and then we'll move as much as I have to relieve myself. Um, I'll wait another 10 minutes or so until the car is charged up. So that's it for this stop. The next stop is the auto train and we'll catch you catch up there. Well, here we are just about to pull in. You can see the train is coming in. I don't know if it's coming in or loading, but uh, anyway, we're here. I'm gonna take a left and we'll see what happens. So about a half an hour before they even let you board uh, cars. So we'll see what happens when I get there. There are some people in front of me that seem to be going the same way. So I'm not that early and some people in back of me. All right, what's up guys? I have arrived at the Amtrak auto train and I am sitting in line with a bunch of cars in front of me. As you can see, but there's palm trees, fake ones. Yeah, there's quite a line of cars, but I think I'm still on the early side. It's not too, too long. So I'm gonna sit here and see what happens. I don't know what happens. I think I just wait until they start letting us check in. I mean, I'm the train actually doesn't leave till four and it's 11, so that's like five hours from now. So I assume I have to drop the car off, then probably go into the terminal building and then just wait until they let you board onto the train. But I will post as progress happens. All right, I'm just chilling in line, waiting, nothing's happened yet, it's not moving. But I just wanted to show you guys that um, I charged up um, at the Springfield Town Center uh, supercharger. And after driving here, I still got 73% battery, which is going to be just perfect for the overnight when it's parked in one of these cars. Um, I think those are passenger cars, so oh, it'd be one of these cars that look like they hold cattle uh, but they hold cars um yeah so we're all set to go i'm just waiting for the line to move i think it merges from two lanes here into one and then they just take your car and um, probably drive it off somewhere um, 
But I have sentry mode and I can look through the cameras after they park it inside and see where it is and if it looks like a good spot and yeah, check on it, you know? I can even lock it until I know they need to get into it. Uh, that's probably what I'll do. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to post that little update. All right, just dropped the car off and uh, heading in. I'm gonna check out the loading sequence over here, which is behind me. finally got the car about two hours after uh, we got in the train station here, 11 o'clock. It's uh, one o'clock now. I just got in my car. It took forever. I was like the last 12 people to get it. Anyway, um, for some reason, my GPS is bugged out and it thinks I'm still in Virginia. So I have to, um, I'm going to just start driving. I put in my destination, but I do have to stop at a supercharger along the way. So I'm going to do that. I'll have to put it in as I go. Hopefully it'll wake up and uh, come alive here. Let me show you guys. Yeah, I'm still in Virginia. Anyway, hopefully that goes away. I'm going to start driving and I'll catch you guys at the super next supercharger stop. All right, I finally got this thing to wake up. It took a couple of blocks to figure out where it was. And then, it, and then I had to cancel the navigation and redo it over again. And I had to just pull over because it was totally going to like the nearest supercharger first. And I've got 60% battery. I can drive. I don't need to go to the first supercharger I can find. So anyway, I put in a route here that's going to take us um, to the Lakeland supercharger, which is kind of about halfway through the route. And we'll just get a quick juice up there. And then I want to stop at Sarasota 
supercharger, which is pretty close to where I'm headed, Venice, um, just to top it off so I don't have to have it sitting in the garage with no charge. Um, so that's the plan. It looks like it's going to take us, oh, I don't think the whole route was about three hours plus. So yeah, 353. Yeah, 412, I'm actually going to the car wash. That's my first stop. So if I get on the road now, I should be on the car wash at 412 and uh, get it washed and bring it home. And then I'm gonna do a full detail and I'm gonna do a video on that. So if you wanna watch that, um, stay tuned and look for it. Okay, let's hit the road guys. Lakeland Supercharger. It's a it's a V3, but they're it's busy. So I have to park right next to somebody, so I don't know if we're gonna get the best charge rate. We'll find out. Let's hop in. Alright, we are cruising. Yeah, we're getting pretty good rate here. Maybe because this one is actually on its own on the side. I don't know, but we've got yeah, two over 200 for, you know, we're at 31%. So my goal here is to top up enough so that I can get go straight home and still have about 30%. So uh, let's... To room. Let's cancel this route, renavigate to the car wash and see what it does. So, uh, let's see how far we got to go. Yeah, so right now it's showing that we will arrive with zero. So, I'm gonna let it go until we have enough to get to the car wash of about 30. That saves me from having to stop again. So I'm kind of trying to make it as fast as I can. It says seven minutes and I can continue the trip. Um, I'll probably go a little bit more than that and then we'll just go straight to the car wash home. Uh, I don't have a fast charger in my garage yet down in Venice, so I'm gonna just plug it in with the charger it comes with. But it mostly is gonna just sit at home in the garage for hours or days on end so that's fine it can trickle charge as much as it wants so how did we do uh, for efficiency um, we went 84 85.4 miles it was an hour and 46 minutes yeah we were in traffic a lot on that uh, segment I didn't film all of the traffic but it was a lot of traffic um, 267 watt hours per mile um, not bad uh, I have the AC on the whole way it's just too hot it's showing an outside temperature here of 88 degrees. Oh, it's so nice here in Florida. I just love it. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. I mean, 267. It does a lot of that preconditioning where it's, you know, preparing for supercharging, which I know adds to the, uh, fit, uh, detracts from the efficiency. So normally when I'm on the highway with this car and my driving, which is very conservative, um, it's, yeah, I might have a 240s, something like that in the 240s. So 
I think that adds another 20 at least to the kilowatt hour, uh, watt hour per mile. Yep, so we're gonna charge up here and then we're gonna hit the road again and we'll be on our way. And uh, the next stop is get Christine washed because she's, for my uh, tastes, a little bit on the dirty side after all this driving and she deserves a nice cleaning. Then I'm gonna take it home and really detail it. Uh, but the, the quick through the car wash will get most of the grime off and then we'll make it like immaculate especially after that <laughs> those guys from Amtrak are dirty people and you know the, the the floor mat was all dirty the 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 door jams were like they was caked with door uh, dust prints and there was all black marks uh, from their hands all over the place like yeah if you're a clean freak like me that's gonna bug, bug you about taking your car on the Amtrak because they are not very clean. Uh, they were in it for about four minutes total and it looked like uh, you know, a disaster. So anyway, we're going to charge up uh, and then we're going to be on our way and we'll see you guys at the car wash next stop. Alright guys, we made it! Yeah! Finally home! It is 5.20 p.m. So it was basically a little more than a 24-hour odyssey, but I finally made it. Um, the car is washed. I got it in the garage. Uh, let's check out the numbers and see how we did on this whole trip. Alright, as you can see, we are in beautiful Venice, Florida. And I am parked in my garage. Let's see... Um, how we looked on our stats. Um, that leg was 2.12 hours, and that was from the supercharger in Lakeland, Florida. 2.12 hours, 98 miles, 239 watt hours per mile. So that's much closer to what I'm typically used to seeing when it's not, when it doesn't think it's going to a supercharger because it does all that preconditioning. And that really sucks a lot of the battery down. It's much less efficient. Although I guess the trade-off is that you're gonna stop and charge really fast. But if you're not using a supercharger, so I'm coming home to charge now, um, very good efficiency. That was with the AC on and um, outside temperature was, uh, was showing uh, 86, I, I believe. It shows 74 now, but uh, on the way down it was warm because the sun's about to go down. Um, how did we do on the entire trip? I did have a trip odometer for that, yeah. So 534 miles we, we went total. Uh, and then I think the auto train was about 900. So yeah, all total, we're talking about 1400 miles um, for this to do it this way. And down to uh, Southwest Florida here in Venice, uh, Venice Florida. Um, 144 kilowatt hours used and 269 was our overall efficiency watt hours per mile. Um, a lot of that supercharging, um, that preconditioning, and then up north we had a lot of very cold weather, especially early on in the trip. So that's how we looked on the numbers. It was a really good trip. The auto train was pretty good and um, yeah, really, uh, really was a good way to get the car down here. Yeah, so that's really all I have for this video. Uh, trip is over. It was a success. And um, the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to detail the car. And I'm going to show you, if you want to stay tuned for the video that would be coming up after this one, because I'm going to record them both at the same time. Um, I do a modification on my, if you're, I have another video on detailing a car, but I've I've tweaked it and honed it since then. Uh, it's much more efficient, it's faster, it uses less product. Um, so I'm gonna detail all that in the next video, which I'm gonna record now as I do it. Um, but right now, unpack the car, I'm gonna do the detailing of the car, and uh, then I'm gonna kick back and maybe have a beer or something because <laughs> it's been a long trip. Anyways, guys, thanks as always for watching my videos and uh, please believe me, you keep me going to uh, 
to, to keep making more, uh, the comments and the likes and the views. Um, so thanks guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.